Hi friends, welcome to the Body Electric Workout. Amy is joining us. Hi Amy, say hi to the friends. Um, we are going to have, well, it's going to be such a great workout that if you haven't joined us before, this is the day to begin. So um, we're going to work the uh, obliques, the side of the abdomen, the gluteal muscles, the hamstrings, the back of the legs, the chest muscles, and the shoulders, the deltoids. Uh, for this workout, you'll need uh, something soft on the floor because we're doing the entire workout on the floor. So a mat or a towel, um, and then a few sets of weights so that you can push yourself a little. And when you see the form slipping, well, then you just pull back to something a little more familiar and comfortable. But comfortable is not the operative word here. It's all about challenging yourself and getting, getting the most out of the next few minutes that we have together. So here we go with the warm up and the workout. Let's begin with the legs crossed, shoulders down. Lift the shoulders and press. Exaggerate the move, make it really big and strong. Okay, with one arm, we're going to reach back. And again, follow it with your eyes. And the other side. Big movement. Bring the elbows back and front. And to the top. Pull. Reach and pull. And once again to the front. Open the back and bring the shoulder blades together. Okay, now let's extend one leg and square off to it and reach and pull back. Now this um, exercise, uh, for those of you that are not comfortable sitting on the floor, you might find it a little more comfortable sitting on a cushion, sitting on a pillow, just with the tailbone up on the pillow and reach it. Change. Reach and pull. It's a push and a pull. Each movement has a dynamic uh, kind of resistance. Okay, let's face the front. The chest open. And now round the back, drop the head. And repeat, lift the chest. And open the back. Look to the side. And front. Ear to the shoulder. And side. Now we're just simply going to roll the head forward, side to side. All the way down. A few more. Never to the back. Bring the arms up. And reach back and tall. To the front, lift the shoulders, up and down. To the side. Okay, let's bring the arms down. And we're going to begin by working the obliques, the side of the abdominal area. So I want you to sit squarely. Uh, if, if you would like to do this exercise sitting in a chair, um, I think we'll let them. We won't send the exercise police to your house, not for this small infraction. So um, we're going to reach long from the hip to the underarm. We're going to stretch this whole uh, love handle area. And bend the elbow of the supporting arm and down. Now when we're working the muscles, that's a different conversation than the love handles conversation because that refers to body fat. And we're working those muscles underneath. 
So you want a complete long movement. Change, bend, and pull. Make the movement very long and very complete. So you're expanding, you're making the muscles long, and then you're contracting, making them short. Full range of motion makes them work hard. Okay, now just bend and straighten. Bend the elbow and straighten, reaching just about where the wall meets the ceiling. Not clasping the arm over the head, but rather reaching up. Change, bend, and reach. There's that million dollars, it's right there. I almost had it, I almost touched it. <laughs> okay, two million, that makes you work harder. Hands on the shoulders and elbow up, center. I mean, I wouldn't want to make you go to all that trouble just for a million. Here we go. And bend. And bend the elbow. Change. You're pushing down on the hip uh, that's on the side of the extended arm. Did you get that? That's like northeast of the shoulder and southwest of the hip. Okay, hands on the shoulders, last few. Up, up. Abdomen in. Try to get that up elbow all the way up facing the ceiling. Last four, three, dose, and uno. Okay, let's just face the side, stretch long through the side of the body, and the other side, shoulders down. Okay. All right, now we're going to work the uh, gluteal muscles. And so for that, let's lie on the floor. Take a weight, possibly a one or two weights to place on your hips for um, added resistance. Let's begin with the uh, ankles slightly forward of the knees and holding the weight over the hips, up and down. So we're starting with the knees and ankles just slightly apart. And if you're not using the weight, put your hands over your body anyway so you're not kind of leaning on the floor, which takes away from some of the intensity. Squeeze and down. So while your feet are on the floor, most of your weight is in your heels. And you tighten. And it sort of um, goes through several layers, the tightening. It's not just on the outside. You take it. It's, deep inside as you can. Each movement is very complete, very intense. And knees in, and in. So the ankles are not quite shoulder width apart. In. Now, no matter what your level of fitness is, you can accomplish this exercise. And uh, it's guaranteed to work on many levels. It'll tighten up your rear end, your gluteal muscles, and also give you a good stretch in the lower back. And in. Press. And this is an exercise you can do every day. You, you, um, you'll find that you'll get a lot of benefits. Okay, now let's do faster and smaller. So it's tap, tap. Make sure that the feet are not too far apart. The lower back is definitely in touch with the floor. Knees together, up. And up, and up.
if you're really pulling the inner thighs and knees together, you should feel the intensity all the way down the hamstring, back of the leg. If you have um, a body bar, you know, a long weighted bar, you can also hold that across the hips. That's um, kind of handy to have around just to vary the workout. Tap the knees. Keep the movement kind of small and intense. So what I'm thinking in my mind's eye is that with each tap, I'm tightening a little more. Like, you know, when you tighten the lid of a jar and um, each, each. Let's go with the knees together, up and down. Press and press. So now that, that lid is on that jar really tight. Let's bring the knees to the chest. Make sure you keep the tailbone down and give it a good stretch. All right, always rolling to the side to go to a sitting position. That's the easiest way to do it. Now we're going to work the hamstrings. And um, so my teammate and I, okay, you're going to put one foot forward and kind of put your weight on that foot. Now make, be sure that the knee is, is on top of the ankle, not all the way over it. Put the hands on the floor and lift and lift. Now you want to um, flex the foot so that you're pulling the heel as if you're gonna kick yourself. You can also hold, well actually I was gonna say you can hold the ankle, but it's more stability with the hands on the floor. Up for two, and hold it, and two. So we're basically staying in the contraction. You might find that leaning on the elbows is a little more comfortable. Squeeze. The abdomen is in. And up, slowly down, up, slowly down. Okay, four, three, two, and one. Let's take it to the other leg. Okay, here we go. Rest the body on the leg, up and down. Again, it might be more comfortable to rest on the uh, on the knuckles rather than the fingers. Up for two. Now, if you want to uh, use your leg weights for this, that would be recommended. If you happen to get a little cramp or something, you can always stretch it out and start again. The only time that you have to really stop is if you get like an ouch kind of pain. Then you have to see what's going on. And up and down and up. Remember, you're gonna try to, as if you're gonna kick yourself, you really wanna contract that hamstring. The back is open, the shoulders are down. And let's take it up for eight, seven, six, and five, and four, and three. Squeeze your gluteal muscles. Okay, let's face the front. Let's stretch. Might we just bring the legs forward? 